uh, the name of the book that I'm going to be having published, at least the tentative title for now, is College Mathematics Through Baseball. In 1998, up to that point, if a student was going to graduate from a four-year public college in Arkansas, they had to pass college algebra to graduate. And back when everybody took algebra in this eighth grade, ninth grade, whenever, they were always told, you're going to use this every day for the rest of your life. Well, we lied. You, you don't. Um, the problem-solving skills that you learn uh, are useful. They're going, to be learn they're going to be used frequently throughout life. But um, the specific algebra skills that's simply not going to be the case for most people. And so we decided that uh, we should propose another course, uh, the Mathematics for the Liberal Arts, that is more real life stuff that the political science major, the history major, the English major may actually find useful. Uh, we actually got a new course approved called, called Mathematics Through Practical Applications. And it took examples from baseball, mostly baseball, some other sports as well, but mostly baseball since that's the one I like, um, and basically did the Math for Liberal Arts class through that, through those examples. And there is no textbook out there for the, you know that narrow of focus, so I had to write it. And after I went to all the work of writing it, I decided, well, I might as well see if somebody else would be interested. So I uh, sent it to uh, a couple different places. Sometime in the next nine to fifteen months, it should get in print. I have always loved baseball, and since I'm mathematically inclined, I've always enjoyed the numbers. Um, when I was in first grade, my mother uh, noticed that I was upset one day coming home from school, and it was because they hadn't taught us long division yet. Of course, it'll teach that till fourth grade, but that meant that I didn't know how to figure out batting averages, and that bothered me. So my mother taught me how to do long division so I could figure out batting averages when I was in first grade. The paper that I wrote recently for the academic forum uh, called Statistical Oddities in Baseball looks at just amusing, it's, it's not deep statistical analysis or anything like that, it's just uh, interesting, in my <laughs> definition of the word interesting, um, statistical combinations, pitchers who uh, had good earned run averages but lost a lot of games anyway and, and things like that. I joined the Society for American Baseball Research, uh, which is exactly what its name implies. People study every aspect of baseball you could think of, the, the statistics, biographical information, uh, the business side of things, the social aspects of things, the minor leagues, uh, everything you could think of and things that you wouldn't even have imagined. And after I joined that, I started looking around the web and found some interesting websites, and I found one that listed burial sites of Major League Baseball players, and so I thought that would be interesting to look at, so I did. And so we uh, started going to more and more, and now I've been to 3,544 of them. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Um, uh, most of them are Major Leaguers, but as the nearby Major Leaguers got them all done, I started going to Minor Leaguers as well. Um, two, three years ago, we drove to Spokane, Washington, which is a long way, and that summer I think we ended up driving a total of about 7,000 miles. The next year we went to Wisconsin and Minnesota, didn't have time to do all of them in one trip, so after I came back and taught summer school we went back up and finished it up, and I think that summer we ended up driving about 11,000 miles. Um, because they're, they're not right by the interstates all the time. I mean, some, some of them are, but some of them are way out in the boondocks. Well, I've been to about 90 Hall of Famers. Most of those are easy. Um, Babe Ruth. I'm a Mets fan. Mets. Which is generally very discouraging. <laughs> oh, there, there's, no, there's no question who my favorite baseball player of all time is. It's Willie Mays. Um, up, up on that wall there is a hand-drawn sketch by my daughter-in-law of Willie Mays. She did that for me for Christmas one year. One of the nice things of a smaller school like Henderson is that we do have the opportunity to uh, reach out to individual student needs. The, the, the idea for the course that um, gave rise to this book was one example. It's an example of why Henderson is a great fit for a lot of students because we do 
care about our students. They're going to see real professors in the classroom who care about them. They're not going to just see graduate students. They'll see real professors, and even their freshman level classes, they're going to see the real professors. They're going to be dealing with people who really care about what they learn. Um, you know, we call it the school of the heart, and I don't think that's just a slogan. I've seen so many examples of uh, real compassion for students, um, compassion for other faculty and staff. Uh, I believe it's a university that really does back up what they say in their slogan.